Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Our first contestant tonight is Joshua Blackwell from Ohio Northern University. All right, Josh, are you ready to play? Yes, I am. Okay, your first question for $2,000. Which of the following is not a clinical feature of gas gangrene? Is it A, swelling and fever of affected area, B, death, C, blue, black, hemorrhagic swellings, or D, runny nose? Well, Regis, I actually think A, B, and C are good answers. So I'm going to go with D, runny nose. Are you sure? Final answer. Final answer, and you are correct for $2,000. Our next question for $5,000. The cause of evasion is Clostridium perforensis, which is a bacteria pathogen. However, which is not a feature or characteristic of this cause of evasion? Is it A, rod-shaped, which is a bacillus, B, gram-positive, C, parasitic, or D, able to form endospores, specialized cells that are resistant to drying, temperature changes, oxygen, antibiotics, disinfectants, and heat? Seems like a complicated answer. I kind of need some help reading some of this. You want to ask an expert then? Yes, I need that expert opinion. All right, here she is. Allison, do you think you can help Josh out here? I sure hope so, Regis. It's definitely rod shaped, so A is the correct answer. It is gram positive, so it stains purple. It has a thick peptoglycan layer, and it is able to form endospores, which are form a thick protein around the cell, and it can be resistant to drying and antibiotics. So C is your correct answer. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go with C. Final answer? Final answer. And you are correct for $5,000. Congratulations, Josh, you just won $5,000. Next one's a big one, $25,000. Are you ready for the next question? All right, let's see it then. The reservoir for gas gain green bacteria is found within soil and the intestines of animals. Which of the following is the mode of transmission for this pathogen? Is it A, airborne pathogens, B, through traumatic wounds, C, contact with an infected person, or double D, Pamela Anderson? I'm going to go with B, through traumatic wounds. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm positive it's not double D. You are correct for $25,000. Josh, you just won $25,000. Yes, I did. Let's keep this roll going, okay? And by the way, while I have a quick break here, did you bring anybody with you today? I did. She's so special to me. Her name is Jordan. From Ohio Grove University, people. Woo! Good Josh! All right, thanks for joining us today, Jordan. All right, Josh. Love you, girl. Are you ready to continue on? Yes, I am. $50,000 questions next. Yes, I am. I'm ready. Okay. All right. And the $50,000 question is, which of the following ways can prevent the acquirement of gas stain green? Is it A, rapid cleaning and treatment of the injuries? B, avoiding foreign odors? C, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Or D, taking a diuretic? I'll say A. Final answer? Yes. Final answer. And you are correct for $50,000. All right, Josh, let's move right along to the $100,000 question. Let's do it. All right. The gas gang green bacteria enter through dirt or feces contaminated wounds that lack in oxygen. How do the bacteria become attached? Is it A, with Elmer's glue? B, through glycoprotein 120, C, through an enzyme, or D, the nature of the wound that the pathogen inhibits makes it hard to remove the pathogen from the injured tissues. This one is kind of tricky, Regis. I think I might be about to be 50. All right, let's see the 50. D looks like a sufficient answer. Let's go with D. Sure. All right. All right. D, and you are Correct. For one. Let's go on to the $125,000 question. What is the best environment for the gas gangrene bacteria to thrive within and overcome host defenses? Is it A, 
hypertonic environment. B, green environment, go green. C, an anaerobic environment, or is it D, an aerobic environment? I'm gonna go with um, an anaerobic environment, C. You are correct. For $500,000. The Gascade green pathogen can be clinically diagnosed based on the presence of dyeing tissue and on a radiograph that reveals feathering patterns of gas in the soft tissue. What will a laboratory gram stain reveal if the diagnosis is Gascade green? A. A small diplococci bacteria. B. A large grams positive bacilli. C. A tetrad cocci. Or D. A snuffleupagus bacilli. We'll go with B, a large gram positive is a lie. Final answer. Final answer. B is correct for half a million dollars. Josh is going for the million dollar question. Josh, like, let me see if you're a millionaire. Oh, I hope so. I want to get off my student loan. I know many people out there do too. So quick. All right, here's the question for a million dollars. Which of the following is not used in treating gas and green? Is it A, the use of a hyperbaric chamber to increase the amount of oxygen within the damaged tissue? B, a surgical amputation of dead tissue, C, a cast, or is it D, the use of a combination of two antibiotics, penicillin and clindamycin? So much pressure, but I'm gonna go with C, I'm gonna go with my heart. Go with You're C. a million dollars, Josh. Yeah. Congratulations, you're a millionaire!